Whoa, it's dark in here. I'm glad we have these cave lights. Did you charge yours? Oh, of course not. Geez, I guess we're gonna be partially in the dark here today. You know who's partially in the dark? Some of our cloud customers out there with multiple logging platforms, and they're busy searching for who did what, where, and when. The great news is at Google Cloud, we have a solution that will help our customers get out of the dark by exporting those audit events into a popular logging platform called Splunk. You wanna check it out? Let's do it. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is create a topic. In this case, we're just gonna name it GCP to Splunk. We're gonna click on the Create button, and the topic is going to be created quite quickly. The next step is to create the export sync. To do this, we're gonna open up a Cloud Shell, and then we're gonna download a script from a Google Cloud Storage bucket that has the gcloud commands from our solution guide. Now that the script is downloaded, we're gonna pass it the argument of the organizational name. And that's important to note is because when we run that command with the filter, it will include the children records, and that will include the folders and projects, any events underneath the org. Now you'll notice that from those gcloud commands, there's a couple of messages there, and one is indicating a new service account has been created. And it's asking for that service account to have the pub sub publisher role. The, the reason that it needs that pub sub publisher role is because those exported events from the sync are going to go to the topic. So now we'll go back to the pub sub topic, we'll click on permissions, and we'll paste in the new service account. We're going to need to give it that pub sub publisher role, and we'll click on add. So now we have a topic, we have an export sync. The next step that we'll need to do is create a subscription. And this is the subscription that Splunk will have to pull those messages from the topic. So we'll click on New Subscription. We're going to name it Splunk to GCP. The delivery type is going to be Pull. And then we'll click on Create. And just like the topic, that happens pretty quickly. So now we have a subscription for Splunk to pull the messages. The next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to have to give Splunk permission to come into the GCP platform and pull the messages. We'll go up to the IAM roles, we'll click on Service Accounts, then we'll click on Create Service Account. And here we're going to name it Splunk to GCP. And we're going to give it a couple different roles that are required. One is going to be the Project Viewer role. The second role will be of course, the pub sub subscriber role. So now we have two roles of viewer and pub sub subscriber. We're going to click on Furnish a new private key with a key type of JSON and click Create. You'll notice on the left hand side that that JSON key has been downloaded. And we have a couple warnings there about protecting that key. And it's very important that you consider integrating this process into your secrets management platform, because this will give access to the GCP platform, and also shred any local copies that you have there. So now that we understand that we have to secure this key, we'll click Close, and we'll head back to the topic and try to publish a message. We'll click on Topics, and we'll click on Publish a Message, and we'll type in, help, I'm in a cave with clowns, because that's not scary. And we'll click on Publish. The next thing we could do is we can leverage the Metrics Explorer in Stackdriver to check out that messages are being published successfully and can be used for troubleshooting in the future. So that's it. We now have audit events from the Google Cloud Platform ready to be pulled into your Splunk instance, making it easy to answer the question of who did what, where, and when. So this does make it easy for security ops teams to have one place to look for audit events. You got it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're working on any cool projects and would like to get in contact with us, click on the link in the description. Thanks for watching.